Let's talk about how illustrations can support our nonfiction stories. What if I illustrated a book about horses with pictures of elephants? What would that do to my book? It would be really silly and confusing. So what should I use? I should use pictures of horses if my book is about horses. So let's look at our story, Giraffes. And I'm going to flip to a page. Okay, so if I were to cover up the words in the story and you could only see the picture of the giraffes and the zebra, what facts about giraffes could you learn just by looking at the photograph? You could learn that giraffes and, and zebras live together. Giraffes are much taller than zebras. And when they drink, giraffes have to bend down in a funny way. So the text says that giraffes are tall and that they live in Africa. The picture shows me how tall giraffes are by comparing them to zebras. So it really supports what the story says. It also shows me that because they are so tall, giraffes have to bend down, um, have to bend way down when they drink. The text didn't say anything about how giraffes drink. So the picture gives me some extra information about giraffes. I want you to think about this in terms of your writing. You have chosen an animal and you have written a fact about where your animal lives, what your animal eats, and then something interesting that you learned. Your picture about your animal on that page needs to match your fact that you wrote. If your animal was a lion and your fact is that a lion eats meat, then you would draw a picture that matched that. If your animal was a narwhal and you wrote that, an ar that a narwhal lives in the ocean, then you would draw a picture that matched that. Your illustrations match what is in your writing.